Hey guys, we're at another duplex and um, the tenants here are telling me that they're having water and mold problems in the closet and they don't see an external exit for the drain. So we're going to um, check it out and see what they got. Let's get a light and go in. So she had looked at it fast forward when they sold this duplex. They were sending like all the insurance company and inspection people. Uh -huh. And the man was like, and this was over the summertime, so the Amazon. This was running, he was like, it was wet. Called the Amazon company, called the people that were running out, they never came back and fixed it. And then when we was over the old, with the old one the company, they sent out two contracting people, came and looked at it, they went outside and said, we need to have a drip line. The unit outside is just covered in water all around it. And the lady that came did inspection for the people that bought it, she was like, the unit's probably backing up in the house as well, which this light picture right here, uh -huh. you can tell it didn't have water damage, so they just painted the ceiling. Well, let me ask you, um, yeah, I'm this way. trying to get a different kind of filter. Okay. Because we changed it and got a, be a thought we got a better one, so mm. now we need a different one. Um, those create an airflow restriction. Okay. So get get the cheaper ones. The cheaper one, because we try to get a more expensive one, thinking it'll help the. Okay, because we just put that on this weekend, so keep the cheaper one. Keep the cheaper ones. Okay. Yes. They're actually better for your air conditioner. Okay. Okay. <laughs> go outside and look for the um, exit for this right here. Okay. And then the we're thing, the unit is right here on the side of the house. It, it don't have a drip line. All right, I'll look. There's the exit right there. Right there. So it converts over to a copper somewhere. It's running in heat right now. I think she had a problem in the past. I'm not sure she has one now. Let me get some water and make sure that the condensate pump works. Um, I'm not sure it's leaking anymore. I see damage down here from water, yes. I know when they came and did an inspection over summer, this up here was wet. Uh. We haven't had the arrow since the summer, but he came to get the inspection and looked at it and he got the inside of that one. Pump is running. Let's make sure it pumps it out and turns off. It did pump it out, which is good. I'm gonna open this up and put some algae tablets in there for you. 
and take a look inside. Yeah, get the the cheap ones that are either blue or green. You gotta look for them, but they're the cheapest ones and they're the best ones to put in there. Okay, okay. Can you change that to sleep and I thought we were going better back in the more expensive one. Because we was getting the one I think that was orange. Okay. I did blue or green. Yeah, the, just the fiberglass media. Alright, I'm gonna go get my tools and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I think she had a problem in the past. Maybe not right now. Let's go check and make sure there's what their water that water did come out that condensate line and go take a look inside the air. Okay, we had a lot of water come out. All of this is wet right now. So yeah, that's what I was looking for. I see where somebody has added a safety on this to shut it off if the water starts to overflow. Mm -hmm. That's what this is right here. I think you had a problem in the past. Maybe not right now. I'm gonna put these in here to help make sure it keeps draining like it's supposed to. Okay. Cause I thought it was fixed, but when they came and did the inspection to sell it, that's when the man told me that it was wet. When he went and inspected it. Um, this was in like July or August. Oh, okay. And we haven't really run the air since the summertime. But they said they was going to send somebody out here right after that, and they never followed up on it. Okay. Well, I think you're okay right now. If it does start to back up, the switch right here will shut it off. Okay. So if it just, you realize um that maybe it's not running outside when it's supposed to, Make a service call. Okay. All right. I have a question. Like yes. When it comes on and off, is it supposed to be really loud when it does that? Because you can hear it outside when it does. Um, it, it will make a noise. It's not supposed to be really loud. It'll make my baby wake up. Mm. So that's a, another thing I was going to say. Like, when it comes on and off, you can hear it make a loud noise when it comes on and off. All right. Um, while I got my tools out, I'll go around there and see if I see anything. <laughs> didn't exactly hear anything you hear it because our bedrooms are right there the yeah yeah it's right there by the new okay i just turned it off and it did make a little bit of a noise but nothing too abnormal i'm gonna let it run for just a second and then let y'all hear what i heard
All right, turn it back on. I didn't hear anything too abnormal. It is making a kind of an odd noise, but it's not too loud. Well, guys, um, I didn't really see a problem actually causing water to be there, but I did drop an estimate to um, replace some of that drywall with foam and paint the whole thing with kills. But um, right now, I don't see where it's creating any kind of a water, a current water problem. I know the girl in there was kind of freaking out because she saw the, the black stuff that looked like mold. If it was mold, it's dead now. Everything's dry. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'll get the job to do that. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you hadn't already. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.